गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट यू टू माय वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम्स सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम्स इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट वन अमंग द इंपॉर्टेंट कोर सब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इट्स अ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी सब्जेक्ट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन एंड यू आर सपोज टू हैव अ फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो दिस हैज link this subject has link with the network analysis so as you all as we know that uh, students have studied the network analysis in the previous chapter so this uh, signal sense system bears a link with the network analysis so fundamental concepts and uh, keeping uh, diploma students in mind i am going through the fundamentals analytical geometry analytical geometry is a topic in mathematics like uh, integral calculus differential calculus so it is it is also a part of mathematics uh, which normally students study in uh, pre university but uh, diploma students have missed that so if they don't have the 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 concepts of uh, uh, analytical geometry the students are not in a position to write equations from starting to end we have we have supposed to write equations for wave forms so now as any how i am going to begin the video lectures on signal sense systems so first i will for few weeks for for few days sorry for few days i will spare on basics so analytical geometry analytical geometry particularly i will deal with inclined lens inclined lens whenever you come across inclined lens you are supposed to know what is its slope what is its equation there are a good number of figures are there i am i will concentrate only on inclined lens inclined lens so this is a horizontal line this is a vertical this is a vertical line this is an inclined line this is an inclined line so i will go through the inclined lines and their equations so when you become perfect with uh, inclined line equations you should not find uh, the rest of the topics difficult so now i will uh, go through inclined lines first you must know what is known as slope kannadadalli we call it as <coughs> slope slope in kannada we, we we used to call it as iliyaru slope for example this is if this is a wall if this is the wall and if you place a ladder like this if you place a ladder like this now uh, this is wall this is a a ladder placed against the wall then it is going to possess a positive slope it is going to possess a positive slope like this now the same ladder a ladder if it is positioned like this then it is going to possess negative slope so be perfect with positive slope negative slope if a inclined line is positioned like this it is positive slope if a if a inclined line is positioned like this it is going to possess negative slope for a horizontal line what is slope for a horizontal line slope is zero slope is zero for a horizontal line slope is zero what is slope for a slope if the ladder is placed like this 
if a ladder if a ladder is positioned like this so in the front view you look so a ladder like this so if if the ladder is placed vertical then it is going to possess a slope of infinity slope is infinity so horizontal means slope is zero then if it is vertical slope is infinity and if it is inclined if it is inclined like this then it is going to have a definite slope then comes the question what is this slope what is the mathematical form of slope so mathematical form of slope slope is defined as slope is defined as m given by delta y by delta x delta y by delta x and it is also in you see one thing you may wonder how how it came like this delta y by delta x see among trigonometric angles there are six trigonometric angles sin cos cosecant secant tan cotangent is it not there are six trigonometric angles so one among the six trigonometric angles tan theta is also called as slope so slope is also given by tan theta tan theta is given by in a right angle triangle always trigonometric angles are referred to right angle triangles so this is hypotenuse this is hypotenuse this is adjacent side this is adjacent side this is opposite side and this is this looks like this hypotenuse looks like an inclined line and this is the angle theta subtended by the inclined line so this is delta y this is delta x so what is slope then slope tan theta is equal to delta y by delta x this is delta y this is delta x so this is all about slope this is we will go to draw inclined lines on a two dimensional plane so this is a two dimensional board what is two dimension length the, the this this one this one okay so i will go to sketch uh inclined lines on this two dimensional plane so i have taken two mutually perpendicular axes uh, this is called as x axis this is called as y axis the mutually perpendicular axis intersect at origin origin this is called as origin so from origin we measure distances al uh, 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 along x axis and y axis then this is positive x axis this is called as positive x axis this is called as negative x axis this is called as positive y axis this is called as negative y axis so we draw inclined lines like this it can be like this or it can be like this after going through the inclined lines you should be in a position to write equations for wave forms which contain which are going to contain inclined lines for example if you are given a at a wave form like this a triangular pulse so you should know how to write equation for this and equation for this so after going through the various cases at the end you are supposed to write equations for these inclined lines so that forms basic in the next class i will go through these equations one by one